What's good, YouTube? Because Akavi here. So, we are going to be diving into some more Billy Thorpe for you guys here. I'm really excited to check this one out. This one has a fun name. This one is called Most People I Know Think That I'm Crazy. Hey, that's relatable. That's relatable. With my past, I'm sure that there's a lot of people that definitely probably think I'm fucking wild. With the shit that happened whenever I was drinking and everything like that. I imagine that that's a sentiment that some people definitely hold whenever they think about some shit that's gone on with me, man. So uh, that's a damn relatable song title right there. Way back requested this one. Thank you, Way. I appreciate you, my friend. You got all kinds of requests. I still got a couple more up here on the list as well for you that I haven't done for you yet. But you just sent this one through today. So we're going to do this and Billy Thorpe for you guys. I'm excited. I like Billy Thorpe. I think his energy is next level. He's a character. He's got a lot of personality. The band always sounds amazing. Got that awesome classic bluesy kind of vibe to them. I really like that a whole lot. Some of my favorite kind of music is that style right there that Billy Thorpe and them have shown us. In the, I think we've done like, I don't know how many we've done by them actually. I can't remember. But we've done a few now. We've definitely gotten a little bit into their catalog now, and I have enjoyed it a lot. Billy Thorpe and the Aztecs are an awesome group with a great vibe and really awesome, intense energy going on in what they do. So I appreciate it a lot. Way, thank you for your request. If you're new here, subscribe for me. We talk about mental health, addiction, world issues, everything in between. Break down all the lyrics, instrumentation, stage performance, lighting, anything going on on the stage. I like going the whole nine yards, busting the lyrics down, talking about the topics. This one's going to be a pretty easy one to understand. The title tells the story itself. I I'm excited to see how he approaches it and see what we get. He might have some funny lyrics in here and just some witty things to say. So we will see what we get with this one. I like to say in every video, if you struggle with mental health or addiction, please go get professional help. You can live a better life for yourself. You can inspire other people to do the same thing. And you can really chase after all of your goals in a more healthy and structured manner. After you pulled yourself out of that, everybody deserves a better life when they're struggling with something like that. So please go get help if you need it. We're going to get into this for you. I'm Vakasa Kavi. A reaction video a day or two. Keep the doctor away. Fuck those apples, Billy Thorpe and the Aztecs. Most people I know think I'm crazy. Most people I know think that I'm crazy. <laughs> I know at times I act a little hasty. I love the vibe. But <coughs> if that's my way, and you should know we In every way, help me to show it. I love it. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Love how classic it is. It's just really, I love the vintage sound of the recordings with Billy Thorpe. He, ha he has some of the most vintage sounding recordings. It's so raw. It's such pure emotion. I love stuff like this. So most people I know think that I'm crazy, and I know at times I act a little hazy, but if that's my way, and you should know it, then in every way, help me to show it. He said, fuck it, help me show everybody how crazy I am, then. <laughs> he said, if you guys know me so well, he said, you should know it, then in every way, help me to show it. <laughs> That's fucking epic right there. I love his approach to this right here. This is classic. I told, I knew he was going to come with something funny just because he has that wild kind of personality. I really fucking like how he approached that first section right here. Love the clapping, how chill it is. Really stripped back. Very nice vocals here. Just a really, really awesome classic song. For most of my life, I've lived a delusion. Yes, material huh. gain has caused me confusion. Oh dear. <laughs> he 
That's pretty deep right there, man. He said, for most of my life I lived a delusion, yes. Material gain has caused me confusion, he said. Damn, spitting them bars back then. Wow, that's something you didn't really hear people talking about too much back in these days. <laughs> Billy Thorpe was different, man. Wow, that's like a rap bar, dude. That's like what hip-hop talks about. A lot of the independent hip-hop that's out nowadays that's like anti-industry and anti-materialism. You get bars like that in those nowadays. He was spitting that stuff back then, saying this stuff has caused me confusion. I feel like I'm living in a delusion. Oh my goodness, that is brilliant right there. Slowly in time, I learned that my place is to tell all that I meet the glory that God is. Wow. Made in the image of God, he says. Wow. So he's talking, he's implementing like some faith and stuff into this as well, right? He's implementing spirituality into this as well. He's saying, I'm fucking confused. All of this material gain makes me feel deluded inside of my personality it makes me act crazy sometimes he said right and at this point he's just like everybody help me to show it then if this is where we've arrived he says but in time i have learned that my place is to tell all that i meet the glory that god is saying i walk i walk in the image of god right saying i try to walk as god would want me to become a better person and stop acting so crazy inside of this material gain that can delude the brain whenever you're first going through it and learning how to acclimate to it and everything like that that's what he's talking about here actually it's really deep he's talking about how it's easy to lose yourself whenever you become successful and you get the material gains and everything of it it can confuse the brain and make your thoughts become like, uh, what do they call it, delusions of grandeur and shit like that, is what they call that, you can't fall into that, man, you have to have that humble side of your personality still that goes out of their way to help people, and goes out of their way to let people know they're there for them, and that they care, and that they value their feelings and everything like that, and it can be very easy whenever, especially in, like, instances with bands like these that pretty much have like a big blow up song and then they're on their way from there especially back in these days it's it there was no fucking handbook we at least have like a sort of watered down fucked up handbook now right and it's been written by the successful independent artists that have a great formula but whenever you try to, like, take that and implement it to the, these industry and label artists and stuff like that that aren't independent, that's where it gets watered down because the label will take fucking 90 out of the 100 pages that these great independent artists have wrote in that handbook and rip it the fuck out and hand their artists 10 pages, right? You guys see what I'm saying? So it's really easy to fall into that because they'll trick you into it so that they can keep a hold of you. And then you'll be making the news and stuff, acting crazy and shit. And that's more publicity so the label doesn't really give a fuck that you're acting like a menace. It benefits them because now people are talking about you. Now they're going to make you drop a song. See? See how the game is played? It's really fucking wild. All the different dynamics that go into the decision making inside of an artist that is not independent and that the labels are making decisions for. He's talking about that right here and how he had to learn to walk with God because he was getting out of fucking control with himself. I can fucking relate to that, my friend. I can certainly relate to that. I've arrived at that point in my life as well.
into a solo here. I'm about to get into a guitar solo right here. But I love the classic vibe of this right here. And I love the way that he's approached it. We went on a little bit of an industry rant there momentarily. That happens from time to time on here. Independence the way to go nowadays, man. If you want a career inside of music and you really want to build it based on what you want to do and what you have to say to the world, stay fucking independent, man, because that message ain't going to stick around for very long if you sign. There's very rare instances where people get to keep the same exact thing that they had going on when they sign. It's very extremely rare. The few lucky ones that do have very great careers, but... In a lot of instances, artists get molded by labels and they lose that factor that they initially even started for in the first place. And then they feel like a heartless pawn to the industry and they have to escape out of it and fucking rebuild their self afterwards if they choose to not sign again and stuff like that. So it's a really fucked up thing that can happen to artists that puts their career in a stifle and a backburn kind of mode in a lot of instances. And you just don't want all of that, man. You don't need all of that. If you're if you're good at making music, just put your fucking music out and show the world. Just put it out there, man. Make it yourself. Learn the process. Practice. It'll get better as time goes on and eventually you'll have good quality stuff. To put out for people and you'll get there i promise you just put the effort in you don't need a bunch of people in your ear barking at you and giving you orders and telling you what to do with it and stuff like that molding you you don't need all that
Oh man. done that was awesome oh that's a good performance right there that one i love that that popped up right there that is awesome i might have to go watch that after this video i might have to give that a fucking watch actually awesome right here awesome billy thorpe and the aztecs do not disappoint i really enjoy their style i enjoy everything that they do a whole whole lot very very jammy band and I, I love the topic of this song. We got to get into a little bit of label industry kind of talk with this one right here. Just based on him mentioning material gain causing confusion and everything like that. That opened up the door for us to have that conversation right there. So I'm glad that we got to talk about that. It's always an interesting time to talk about that. I think it's important, especially for up-and-coming artists to know that it's not necessary to have a label and that it really is possible for you to stay as an independent artist and not have anybody telling you what to do with your art and everything like that. I think it's really important that we spread that message specifically to artists that are trying to first start making music and get their self out there and everything we have the internet and platforms now where we can do it all ourselves. you just have to take the time to learn the process and at the end of the day you only need a few people to help you if you start getting real busy with it and everything like that take the people that are closest to you that you trust the most the ones that you trust the best out of everybody and assemble your crew that helps you out based on that. You don't need a big label throwing a bunch of people at you and stuff like that that you don't know and shit that you aren't sure you can trust and everything. So keep that in mind as an artist. Being independent is definitely, it's, it's the longer grind and it's the harder route, but at the end of the day, it's more honest and it's more pure and you get to stay yourself the whole time and really get to know people and vibe with people in a way that a label might not allow you to do in a lot of instances so there's that i appreciate you guys tuning in original video will be in the description as always support the artists we have on the channel that's what we do this for get the music out into the world related to life thank you guys for all the support on my recovery if you're struggling please go get yourself some professional help i really enjoyed this a lot thank you way again for this request we gonna get out of here i'm vacasa coffee a reaction video a day or two. Keep the doctor away. Fuck those apples. Leave a like for me. Comment those suggestions. Subscribe up this way. Bang the notification bell for me. I'll see you guys in the next one. I love you so much. Thank you for everything. Have a blessed night. Peace.